Uh, Sadal, do you have a, an overall feel for what we're going to hear today? Just we, we are seeing some cross currents, layoffs some places, jobs very, uh, very tight, and workers you know, unable to, companies unable to find the right workers at the same time. What, what's, what's really happening? It's, it's just bifurcated? Yes, it's an interesting time in that way. On the one hand, companies are still looking for the right people, are getting less applications than uh, previously, and are still on the market for people. On the other hand, we see many companies that are course correcting or intervening and shutting down initiatives and doing a lot of financial retrenchments as well. So applicants have to be very strong and the right uh, set of lucrative skills for them to find uh, the right jobs. And likewise, companies have to be very thoughtful about how to attract and retrain the, uh, retain the right people. Interesting times. Yeah, but Jason, it kind of uh, makes the Fed's job a little bit harder, I would think. What, 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 what part of the uh, employment uh, arena are they supposed to be be looking at right now the layoffs that are coming or the the uh, the shortages that are causing wages to 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 go up and, and add to inflation I mean commodity prices can come down and housing sure. prices can come down but they're all, they're paying attention to the labor market and it's two different markets or at least I think you can't get around the fact that inflation needs to be curbed because when you look at a lot of these companies that are doing these layoffs they're doing these layoffs in advance of the looming recession so the feds definitely have to take a look at uh, inflation. But I think on the other side, and Nadal hit on this perfectly in terms of the job market, I think this is also a wonderful time for employees to start being bold. If you're an employee who's sitting back and you're watching the news, you've seen your friends who've been laid off, you've seen you know, what's going on in your industry, now's the time for you to start working on your network. Now's the time for you to start thinking about your potential side hustle and what that's going to look like. Now's the time to be bold because you never know. Corporate America is can be an ugly game, and it can be cutthroat. So you never know if you're going to end up being the next person laid off. So get ready for whatever that might be. Sadal, so, where are the, where are we really missing talent? We've Steve Leesman did a three-part series on, uh, on how we're not, you know, we're, we have this great talent come in from. Uh, from other countries, we they get educated at some of our best schools, and then they can't stay. So, is, is that an answer? Is is college always the answer, or, or do we need uh, to focus in on where the jobs are and have specifically that type of technical training and, and subsidize that? What, what what are we supposed to be doing? It's interesting, you know. Uh, college is, of course, always important, but there's a movement. Uh, right now, where skills, the right skills, skill-based hiring is increasing, where you don't necessarily need a college degree, but you need skills like coding, some quant skills, some statistics or data science type skills, a digital mindset for sure. So no matter even uh, what your college background is, say you have a background in humanities, it's becoming increasingly important in this digital era to speak the language of data, to be able to uh, um, contribute in an environment where more and more automation is uh, going to be taking over various parts of tasks. So yes, college will always be uh, important, but it's not going to be the only currency for people. Other digital skills will be more and more important to develop as a learning agenda for people.